morning, campers! For uh, obvious reasons. You'll be sure to learn the importance of using toilet paper properly. I'm not gonna keep talking because I know everyone is on the edge of their seat. <sighs> Looks like it's time for me to clean this up. I'm what you would call a germ of blood agrosophobic. <laughs> I can't believe Skippy could train his chipmunk to do something so crazy. Take a look. We are young, we are young, we will lead the way Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay We are young, we are young, we will lead the way Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay Set an example Right, we confess we are blessed by the hands of Christ. Trying to be a lighthouse, not a candlelight. Huh. So we new kids bringing up, show the world with this news that we bringing up. Dudes are confused because we usually sing it, but it's all about God. Set Who we believe in trust. Attention campers, this is a reminder that everyone needs to sign up for a time slot to take night watch in the woods this evening. Also, word of advice, if someone in your cabin ate the pinto bean popsicles at lunch, you probably don't want to sleep in the bunk beside them anytime soon. Hello there campers, and good evening to you all. I'm here in the dark helping keep watch tonight near the campfire. And while we keep watch, I have a good old classic campfire story to share with you. This story is about a girl named Deborah who showed us that great leaders lead the way by going first. Here, take a look. Deborah was a prophet, which meant she told people about things that were going to happen. She would sit under a tree and people would come from all over to listen to her. One day, a commander in Israel's army came to see Deborah. His name was Barak. God told Deborah something very important that she needed to tell to Barak. There was going to be a war, and God wanted Barak to lead them into battle. Barak didn't like what he had heard. He didn't want to lead and go first because he was scared. Barak told Deborah, there's no way I'll go without you to lead the way. Deborah knew that God was on their side and would help. There was no reason to be scared, so she trusted God and led the way. Because Deborah was a leader who went first, they won the battle. Everyone was so happy that they celebrated and thanked God. What a great story. Deborah is a perfect example of how leaders go first. They don't wait around for someone else to get the job done. They do it. And I want to encourage all of you to know that I can be a leader who goes first. Okay, campers, I've got to get my watch on. Chipper, out. Yeah. 
Oh, no. 